Hello everyone, this is me Sadia here and I'm doing your second week of uh, November reading start from the 8th through the 14th of November 2020. This is going to be for the sign of uh, Sagittarius. So let's see what is coming up for you guys for this week time. I will be adding oracle cards. I will be putting out uh, charms as well. So stay tuned and while I shuffle the cards, let me remind you it's a general reading. It may, it may not resonate with everyone out there. So always pick the messages which are resonating and leave the rest for personal readings. You can always reach out to me on my email ID in the description box. You can also follow me on Instagram where I do upload daily readings. So yep, let's see what is heading towards the Sagittarians in this week time. Let's begin. Let's find out. Set of Fonts, um, you're starting with the week having some uh, inner fights, uh, conflicts. Uh, your mind is telling you to do something, your heart is telling you, ah, what are you doing? Why you, why you want me to do this? Then you, you are having some sort of inner fight conflict with, with your, within your heart and mind. Like, you know, it's, it's, uh, um, it's, it's just like, you know, um, it can be about anything. It can be about love and relationships. It can be about, uh, work. It can be about finances. It can be about, you know, a specific someone in your life. It can be about, you know, specific situation in your home life. But for others of you, maybe you would be picking up fights with, you know, with, with somebody as well. Like, you know, it doesn't have to be just the inner conflict. For some of you, maybe it's like, you know, you are going to be like, you know, having some sort of arguments with someone as well. Um, but it's, it's very, you know, unnecessary is what I'm picking up. Like, you know, whatever it is, that, that's pretty much unnecessary that you are, you know, the conflict that is pretty much unnecessary. Maybe you need to do something healthy instead of uh, getting into uh, an argument with anyone, be that yourself as well. So just try to get yourself busy more so you don't have that inner conflict because it's unnecessary. Plus, it's not going to end um, anywhere. Like, you know, it's not going to get you anything. So it's useless, time waste kind of energy that you are having in the very beginning of the week. Let's see more cards here. Nine of Cups. The only thing that you need to do to have your wish fulfilled around anything is shut that inner conflict. You know, the, the talk that you have between your, your mind and heart. Just cut the communication there. Uh, cut the crap there. Because I feel like, you know, uh, it's, it's getting you nowhere. Plus, it's not letting you think productively. So if you shut that inner voice, um, which is more like a mind chatter, um, that's going to bring you closer to what you want. That's going to bring you the emotional fulfillment that you seek. And this is the block here. You know, you having self-talks which are negative, which are baseless, which are limiting, which are, you know, a negative. It's, it's like you need to cut that out of your mind, cut that out of your, 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 your uh, brain. Um, because you really have to watch your thoughts here in the very beginning of the week so you could have the life that you desire because this is the block that you are having here. And uh, be that in any area of your life. Uh, let's see more cards here. Wow. Nine of Cups paired up with Ace of Cups. Something good will come to you if and only if you could control that voice. If you could, uh, you, if you could relax yourself. If you could stop listening to that inner voice, inner chatter. Instead, try to get yourself busy doing something good. Something that makes you feel peaceful. Something that is calm. Something that, uh, you know, do something productive. Um, and that's how you are going to tap into the abundance. Uh, I would definitely suggest you for some of you to, to use some positive affirmations, be that about the whole day. Like, you know, it doesn't have to be about specific someone, a relationship, a person or stuff. You can, you know, just stop saying as if like, you know, uh, you are just uh, intending to have a beautiful day ahead. And, uh, you know, just, just make some affirmations around that and then go about your day like that. And everything is going to start flowing towards you as if, you know, it's all so easy for the universe to bring forth whatever you want you will be kind of, you know, in that vibe where you will be attracting anything and everything that you desire. So maybe making an affirmation around that where your every wish is getting fulfilled is going to be very helpful. You will be getting a lot of your wishes come true this week time if and only if you use affirmations. And instead of like, you know, having that, that blah, 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 blah in your mind, in your heart, um, just do something productive. Let's see more cards here. Wow. You are attracting the perfect person in your life. Beautiful, Sagittarians, you are rocking it. But again, the, the only block is this. If you could control it, this is bound to happen. This is bound to come. Um, this person, this, this, this guy, this girl is going to be the thing for you, the one for you. You really have to stop this blah, blah, blah that is going on in your mind right now, in your heart right now. Inner conflict, inner peace has, you know, inner, inner, inner conflict has to go, inner peace has to come. Or conquer your mind, brain, heart, soul, everything. 
just be that you know uh, you which is calm and you know that you know everything is perfect everything is good in my life keep repeating some positive affirmations to yourself and that's how you will be able to attract this one person in your life do that from now onwards trust me it's going to benefit you a lot and it's it's bringing you your wish fulfillment regarding your emotional fulfillment so i feel like you know, it's something related to your love life for majority of you it's it's about your love life something good is coming to coming for you in this week time do you have queen of wands when you make some affirmations i would suggest you to make some affirmations about your self-worth like you know you are worthy of love you are beautiful you are you know this you are that yeah I mean, you, you don't have to say you you have to say i am beautiful i'm worthy of love i'm deserving of the perfect life that i desire whatever you can always reach out to me for personalized uh you know affirmations uh both spiritually charged and the other ones as well check the description box for that but you can always make your own and just keep repeating that to yourself but yes when you are saying some positive affirmations make some love uh you know love yourself uh kind of affirmations too which which makes you feel confident about yourself you are the most beautiful you are the most handsome you are the most this and that just use that as well let's see one last card uh knight of cups this person is entering in your life uh quickly and um Let's take one more card with the Knight of Cups from the Queen of Swords. This person is going to be exactly how you want. So use affirmations. This person is going to be exactly how you speak. Don't have this conflict. Don't, con don't have the inner conflict. Don't confuse the universe that what do you want. You want this or that, this or that, this or that. Just be truth. Uh, be, just be strict in whatever you want and uh, strictly let the universe know that this is what you want this is what you desire i'm not i'm no more conflicted i want this kind of life i know i need this kind of a person i need this kind of a life partner go ahead with that and that's how you will have that one person entering in your life who is exactly how you want that person to be perfect um i need the deck we do have two of swords you really have to get yourself out of this uh in a conflict just do that that's the only thing that you need to do so you could have this vibe coming for you if you do that if you conquer your uh conquer your brain with the with the eliminating the negativities and the inner conflict that's what is bound to come your way uh let me take one more card the morning of 9th of november or the 10th of november is going to brighten up or wash away this energy it's, it's going to happen out automatically. You won't have to do much. Um, but yes, if you use affirmations, because it's a general reading for some of you, if you strongly have these kind of conversations with yourself, negative ones, then you really have to use affirmations. For, for uh, others of you who are like, you know, uh, who, who can control it easily, it's, it's like, you know, maybe even if you don't do something, it's, it's going to come through for you. But for some of you, maybe you are in that loop of negative thoughts that you, you are finding it very hard to stay positive. You are finding it very hard to be in that zone where you could attract positivity. Then you have to use the affirmations that's going to bring you what you want. Let's see uh, what the oracle has to add to the reading. Wow, Sagittarians, you are doing good. Wow, let's see what does this card has to say. Release your ex. This time has come to clear your energy. You really have to leave the past. If you're conflicted that, you know, um, maybe I should move on, maybe I should not, maybe I should do this and that, whatever it is. Leave the past behind, fuck that person out of your life and that's how you get, wow, <laughs> positive energy and the positive person entering in your life. Just don't let the conflict keep you stuck in your life. Let's see what it has to say. Receive, be open to receiving goodness. Believe you are worthy of abundance. A gift is coming to you soon. Ta-da! Let's see, one more oracle and then we're going to take some charms. Wow. Be open to receive goodness in your life. Let the crap go. Uh, let the past go. Let the pains go. Let the hurts go. Don't be indecisive and know what you want and then, then you will have it. Look to your inner strength. You are stronger than you realize. You are worthy of love. Again, self-confidence is a must. Uh, again, it's like, you know... Um, It's like once you have all these things done, uh, once you know your inner strength, 
once you know that you can manifest, you can co-create, you can have anybody when you when you are in that right mindset, that's when you feel your strength. That's when you realize you are stronger than what you always thought of yourself to be. So that's when you are attracting this person in your life. Um, I feel like, you know, something is definitely changing for you on the 9th or 10th of uh, uh, November. And that's how everything is going to change for you in your love life. And you are going to have that self-worth. You are going to have that, you know, positivity coming for yourself. Uh, about your about your the way you look about your life about your you know uh that yes you are deserving of good things and stuff so good changes are coming for you in this week time so yeah that's pretty much it coming up for you for this week time if the reading resonated with you do like subscribe and share if you're willing to get a personal reading you can always reach out to me for that on my email id in the description box till i do the next reading for you guys take care bye bye